what's toxic debt and what's is there such thing as good debt? <laughs> I get that question all the time. And there are some people who absolutely believe all debt is bad debt, pay it off. Here's what a financial planner will tell you. Good debt is debt that in moderate amounts, and that's a very important qualifier, in moderate amounts helps you get ahead. It's an investment in your future. That's why a moderate amount of mortgage debt is usually considered good debt because over time your home value will rise. Yes, it will. Once again, someday. <laughs> From your mouth to God's ears. <laughs> we are so underwater right oh, now. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, so many people are. But, you know, eventually housing prices will come back, and that will be building wealth for you. Another example of good debt is federal student loans. And I make a point of saying federal because there are also private student loans. Private student loans are not federal student loans, and they're kind of like paying for your education with credit cards. They have variable rates. They don't have all the consumer protections that federal loans have. So federal student loans are good debt because they're fixed rate, the tax or the interest is tax deductible and they have all those consumer protections you can take a break if you are having economic challenges you can get forgiveness after a certain number of years those are good debt toxic debt yes is the other side of the scale this is debt that's not helping you get ahead it tends to have high or variable rates it tends to be things like credit card debt payday loans title loans bounce fees at banks, anything that has you know, a high rate that's really eating into your financial well-being, that's toxic debt.